Multiple Exposure Shooting This allows you to shoot between two and nine separate frames and then combine them into one composite image. This function also offers several options for how the separate images are combined in camera to achieve the final image. You can access multiple exposure options in the first shooting menu. Within this menu, you can enable the multiple exposure function and set various relevant options. For multiple exposures, you first select between two shooting procedures, function and control priority or continuous shooting priority. Function control priority is the multi-exposure setting that most users will likely reach for first. It enables you to take each multiple exposure image separately and check the image as you go along. This limits continuous shooting speed, but gives you more control over composition and exposure. Continuous shooting priority is intended for a rapid series of continuous shots that will be combined into one multi-exposure, making it well-suited for sports and other moving subjects. It maximizes shooting speed but gives you less precise control over exposure and composition. Here is where the new in-camera multi-exposure feature allows you to really get creative. You have four different options for combining the images you've taken into one new multi-exposure file. The additive method simply stacks each image on top of the other, much like multi-exposures in a film camera. If bright areas on two separate images overlap, their combined brightness will increase. Photographers can adjust the exposure of each individual image separately. It's often necessary to underexpose images, especially if bright areas will overlap in the final multi-exposure. The average method automatically underexposes each frame so that the finished multi-exposure has the same overall exposure level that a single standard image of the scene would have. It's ideal when two or more frames of the same scene will be combined to avoid overexposure as images are composited. The bright method compares the individual images to each other, giving more importance to the bright areas. Bright objects within the multiple exposures will be emphasized as the source images are combined. A classic example would be two shots of the nighttime sky with city lights and a separate shot of the full moon. Using the bright method, when the files are combined, the dark areas won't get progressively brighter and the bright areas will appear at full brightness. The dark method compares the frames to each other, giving more importance to the darker areas. Dark objects within the multiple exposures are emphasized as they're joined into a finished multi-exposure image. This can be effective for removing unwanted bright objects or light reflections. You can choose the number of frames you'd like to use in a finished composite image. Up to nine original files can be combined in camera into a single finished multi-exposure image. If you are unsure of how many frames you will use, set the number of exposures to its maximum of nine frames and create a finished multiple exposure out of the images you do shoot. You can either save all images used in the multi-exposure image or save only the resulting multi-exposure image. You can have the multiple exposure function active for only one finished multiple exposure composite image before it automatically returns to normal shooting mode, or you can choose to keep the multi-exposure function active. Four control method choices for multiple exposures provide unprecedented in-camera control over the final image, greatly expanding what's possible without requiring time at the computer. Having the ability to digitally create multiple exposures breathes new life into an artistic method that film shooters have used for years.